Hey everybody, multi breaking down a topic I want to bring to the attention for those who want to work on team play or leading. I shall be discussing this through the use of a play from Furia against Gambit in the ESL Pro League Season 13. This round is the T-Side Pistol on Mirage. What I want to discuss can apply to any round you play, rounds that you have a set plan or an EZEC that you'd like to run on the round. By breaking down this one from Furia, I want to highlight the idea that any plan, even the bad plans, can often lead to success, as long as your teammates are on the same wavelength and coming well. This round is an A-Site execute with a top con smoke thrown from Caserato, along with a flash over the top of ramp. When they enter the site, Art attempts to molly triple. More on this later. The rest of Furia come out with Art, aside from Vinny who is in Palace. They look to fight Dark and kill Hobbit. As Caserato flashes over stairs as Art and Junior are sandwiched, ready to swing it. As Vinny no longer needs to hold jungle from Palace, he helps Caserato get that bomb down as Furia take jungle control. Shiro drops Yuri, putting a wrench in the gears, but Vinny picks him off so the bomb can finally get down. Thanks to that jungle control, Junior can flank CT and turns it into a 1v4 where Axile smartly decides to save armor. Let's run this back now. You may be thinking to yourself, what do you mean by bad plans can be good? That didn't seem bad at all. Well, I want to point out that it was so clean because Fury communicated well when things could have gone poorly. <laughs> Disclaimer, when I say it's a bad plan, by no means do I mean that the plan is absurdly wrong, but it's not the most ideal plan to take. Playing this back, I want to highlight this very important piece of utility thrown by Art. He messes it up entirely. This molly is thrown triple to force them to swing CT or bench, so that Junior can spot them and kill them with the help of Yuri. Instead, Junior spots Naphne's CT, who they're happy to ignore because of the range, thinking that no one is triple because of the messed up molly. When the molly fades and the flash goes stairs, Caserato is then next to pick up CT and he still sees Naphany CT. Again, making it look like no one is triple. The flash for jungle goes off, completely missing Shiro of course as he's tucked in behind triple and Shiro is in the prime position to get one, two, maybe three kills here with the support from Naphany. This is because no one from Furia is looking triple Furia are very fortunate that Shiro leaves it too late as as soon as that molly landed at the start of the round the execute went from promising to dicey. As you can see I would call this a bad plan right now. Not ideal but also not terrible. Something in the plan is unaccounted for directly working against those making the plan aka Furia. However because of the team communicating, Caserato hearing the shots and seeing Shiro, Yuri going down Vinny and Caserato work a way to get rid of Shiro together. If at this point Jungle are talking too much, Caserato doesn't react quickly enough with Vinny, as Vinny's focusing CT, calling that there is someone CT, or the Jungle guys calling Inters in spawn, because of all this communication, you may lose more numbers here than you expect. On top of that, Shiro could have started shooting earlier, giving Inters time to go vent, or just killing more people in general. This was not the most ideal plan, but it was a plan that Furia followed, and it flowed as it would have normally if there was no one triple. The point I want to get across with this demonstration is, even if there is a more ideal plan looking back, or maybe a member of the team second guessing the plan, unless that member can break down the issue right there and then, suggest something else quickly, it's often better just to have the five players play out the original plan cohesively and communicating well then a few players second guessing and trying to do something different. If something goes wrong with that plan, you all know plans aren't 100%. You know the procedures within that plan and can react accordingly, even if it's not optimal. Talk to your teammates about this. I'm sure most of you watching would agree that five people working together in unoptimal situations is better than having a few members wanting to switch things up when it's too late or put doubt in the plan and roll out a default. Tell me what you think below about this, and if you agree. I'm always happy to hear if you want me to discuss anything you're curious about. I have more videos you can check out showing on the screen now if you like this type of content. Catch you on the flip-flop.